Create Pose Presets. We can create a library of poses, such as running position, seating position, standing position, this neutral position, um, you know, elbows bent, whatever. And we can quickly go back and forth between those different poses uh, in our workflow. So this will help us like in sculpting detailed areas such as the lips, uh, where we can get inside the lips, uh, we can you know, move things around. And so we like to always have a neutral base pose. This neutral pose is just like we have this skeleton. So when we make deformations and changes to the pose, we can always go back to this neutral pose. So before we can go in, we need to place one joint in our model. So I'm going to come over here, and before, and also I'm going to create this joint. You'll notice over here I have one joint at a time turned off. All right, and so now I'm going to just come in here and commit to that pose, and uh, I'll make just a minor, and I'll make that committed pose. So in other words, I've now uh, it's gone to a committed pose. Now I'm going to go up to my windows. I'm going to go to poses. I'm going to say save new pose as, and I'll call this base, our initial base. I'll save the pose. And I'll say OK. Now I'm going to go and create another joint, and I'm going to go and put this one in over here on his other elbow. And I am going to now pose this one, and I will come around here and I'll just bend his arm. And I'm going to go now back, and I'm going to commit to that. So now it's a committed pose. And now I'm going to go up to my windows, and I'm going to go down to poses. And you can see I have the base one here. And I want to save a new pose as, let's say, elbow bend. And I'll save the pose. And now I'll save OK. And I'm going to go and create a joint, let's say, in his knee. And now I'm going to spin it around. I'm going to say pose. I'm going to pick on that joint. And I'm going to kind of get him in sort of a running position. And I'll commit to it. All right, so it's a committed pose. Now, I can go over here on the skeleton and click on the skeleton in the object list. And I get the posing as well. And you can see I have my base and my elbow here already created. I'm going to save a new pose as, let's call them running. All right. And running. And I'll save that pose. And so now I have three different poses. And at any time I can make a change here, I could go to pose and I'll pick on this joint and make it look a little more. And I'll say, oh. I want to go to either way, Windows, Poses, and I can update this running pose. I'll say Update, and I want to update the pose. It should always be in a committed pose, and say OK. Now, if I want to go to a pose, I can always go over here and pick on the skeleton or in Windows. And I can say, go to pose. I can hit the drop down. I can say, I want to go to base. It goes right back to my base. So I can spin him in any view. And he's back to my base position. I can go to the elbow bent. So I can always go to any pose and go back to my running. OK? Now, at some reason, let's say you don't want to have the elbow bent anymore. All right? so. I can come over here and say elbow bent, and I can delete that pose. All right, so now that pose is gone. It's no longer in the list. And I could also re rename, I'll go to base, and maybe no one else understands base, and you can say, oh, I can rename that as initial base. And I can rename that, and now the pose gets renamed. So we are creating a bunch of poses. This is very handy in our workflow as we work around looking at our model, uh, determining uh, you know, if our deformations are wrong, etc. 
we can put them in different uh, positions and quickly go through them back and forth without having to repose all the time. So um, it's a great idea to create pose presets. I always, always, always encourage you to have initial base. So you can always go back to the standard uh, standing pose of our, of our uh, base template mannequin. So this is creating pose presets.